Welcome back to another Electro Swing Review, where today we're going to be listening to two tracks by Sepia Tonic. Before we get started, though, I want to say a great big hello to all the new subscribers. Perov Stellar was kind enough to share my last review with his fans, and so there's a lot of new faces in here. Welcome! Welcome! I like to keep things kind of low-key on this channel. I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm not a critic. I'm not a musician by any means. I am just a really big fan of Electro Swing and really all things Neo Vintage. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you guys a little bit better and getting to talk more about Electro Swing. So I hope you stick around. I hope you have fun. Let's see. Today, since we've got two videos, I've got double the treats. I have got um, tea and I have this chocolate cake that I actually baked for a photo shoot. Oh, yes. I had a photo shoot the other day with a friend of mine. She's like, hey, Alex, I have this wild idea for a photo shoot. You want to dress up and come over? And I'm like, sure. It's not like I got anything else better to do. Anyway, no, I had so much fun. She wanted to try something called milk bath photography. I guess that's a thing. I don't know. Um, after Googling it some, I realized it's kind of like a photography trend for like taking tasteful nude shots and for doing like uh, pregnancy photos. But since I am neither pregnant nor really comfortable posing nude, I'm like, hey, I have sort of like a fun little pinup idea for it. Let's let's use some food. <laughs> so I whipped up a bunch of cakes and got some cookies and got some cute towels and tablecloths and things and brought them over to her house. And I'm like, let's dunk me like a cookie. <laughs> and so that's what we did. And uh, yeah, let me show you some shots from that photo shoot. So what do you think? Okay, yeah, admittedly it's a little bit weird, but you know what? It, it was fun. It was fun. I had fun doing it. So big thank you to Stephanie Beers from Click and Doodle Do Photography. She's just starting out, but I think she's pretty amazing at what she does. So anyway, yes, back to the music, Sepia Tonic. My friends down at Dead To Me Records said, Alex, Sepia Tonic has just released two remixes of their tracks and we would love it if you would give them a listen. And I said, of course. The first time I saw Sepia Tonic was at Roaring City Music Festival. They were just wild. They were a feast, not only for the ears, but also for the eyes because their colors are just, I don't think I got to meet Sepia Tonic at Roaring City Music Festival. And if I did, I don't remember. And I say that because, you know, I had green room access, but I was also there running on like 48 hours of no sleep. <laughs> so most of that day just registers as static in my memory. But even if I did meet them, I'm positive that they were lovely people because I don't remember anybody there being awful. I remember everybody being extremely kind and very happy to be there. Except for this one dude at the bar, he was super creepy. Anyway, I digress. I have cake, I have tea. Oh, we'll get to the music in just a second. I gotta show you this tea. So not only is this a lovely blend of black tea, it came in this adorable tea tin. It's like circus themed. So it's gorgeous. Even when this thing finally runs out, I'm gonna keep the tin. You, you wanna see the coolest thing about it? So if you can't tell, that's like a sped up version of the baby elephant walk. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute. It's so perfect and it's so me. Okay, let's listen to some sepia tonic. The first track we're going to listen to is Step Up, the Mr. Biggs remix. These tracks didn't come with any visual media, so like no, no picture as far as I could tell. The website is down, so I can't really find anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the... Uh, the music video to the original track over the remix. So, I mean, if you're watching the video, you're gonna see, like, maybe the vocals won't sync up. Okay, so without any further ado, Step Up by Sepia Tonic, the Mr. Biggs remix. Super cute shoes. I love two-tone shoes. Ah, even the fellas are in heels. 
not easy to do. I like it, it's heavy. same outfit um, that they wear to their shows. If it is, in color, it's like bright neon. It's like an acid colored skirt. And I think like a turquoise top. Ah, these guys are so fabulous. I've always liked that line. Knock the pinstripes off of your back. Love that drop. I don't know who's in charge of making the fashion choices for sepia tonic, but they're always on point. I feel like the black and white isn't really doing them visually any justice. I mean, don't get me wrong, fantastic videography. I want one of those fans. Oh, I've got sympathy pains in my crush. I think there's more track left. I'm gonna go back. The original version had some uh, electronic elements to it, but this one just like took that part and turned it up to 11. I like it. I dig it. It's so dancey. Ah. Gonna deconstruct the ending. I always wonder why they do that in these songs. Is it so that it's a little easier to kind of lapse into the next one? Like if you're playing it in a set? DJs, let me know. Yes. Yay. Okay. I need to think of a better way to react to the ends of these tracks than just yay. But that's how I feel. I mean, honestly, I get excited. I'm like, that was good. That was good. Let's hear some more. In this case, there is more. There's one more. Let me get it ready. Um. Hold on. <laughs> this one is Trailer Swift, the Crash Party Remix. If you need me, I'll be here. Find a stranger. A little one out back with a strap on the side. Oof. You could tell a robin or a sailor. We don't need any gas just to go for a ride. If you need me, I'll be here. 
this one has like a trancey jazz noir vibe. I love it. Finally, we can see some of that color I was telling you about. <gasps> Comes the drop. I hope. I think. <laughs> Oh! I like this. It reminds me of uh, all the electronic I used to listen to when I was a little kid in the 90s. Watching this band. I mean, they could be a Vegas act easily. And maybe their aesthetic is slightly more 50s than uh, some other electro swing producers. I think generally electro swing is like 40s to 1890s. Rarely do you get to see, like, kind of 1950s rockabilly influence. But I mean, that's me. At least you couldn't tell. Oh man! That kitchen is wild! Ooh, and it's uh, blue and pink. Jazz and tea aesthetics. Oh, I was waiting for a drop right there. <sighs> no, I love it. Yeah, the rockabilly 50s aesthetic is very, uh, it's very Las Vegas, and that definitely has an influence on me. Sit on wheels? I know that one. Well, I haven't seen it, but... There's that drop. Yes! I'm sorry, I feel like I should be reacting more to the song than to the video, but it's been a while since I've seen the video. <laughs> I forgot how much I love it. because it speaks to the 50s half of me and also the 90s kid inside of me. <laughs> that cherry is not coming along easily. There we go. I want that trailer. I want to go for a ride in that trailer. <sighs> That track slapped. I love it. I thought both tracks were fantastic. I thought, as most remixes are, it was true to the original while also being fresh and original enough to stand on its own. So good job. Good job to Sepia Tonic. Good job to um, Mr. Biggs and Crash Party. And thank you, Dead To Me Records, for sending me these fabulous tracks. Had a lot of fun listening to them. Had a lot of fun re-watching these videos that I hadn't seen in a while. Which reminds me, I've talked before on this channel about how original music videos 
have an influence on electro swing as a culture, whether they mean to or not. So I really appreciate it when I get to see their unique twist. They are like acid neon 50s, I think. That's where I would kind of put their aesthetic in, which I love. Here I am, I thought I was the only like 1950s electro swinger out there, but it's nice to see that there are more of us. There are literally dozens of us. I'd be really curious to hear how you guys express your love for electro swing outwardly. What do you wear? Do you wear like a certain era? Do you do like neo vintage? Do you do true vintage? Let me know in those comments down below or you know what? Even better, message me. Um, send me a picture if you want to on Twitter or on Instagram. I would love to do a video about where electro swing fashion stands right now. So yes, please send it my way. Once again, I forgot to prepare a rating system. In case you haven't been able to tell yet, the rating systems are completely arbitrary. It doesn't matter <laughs> what it is. I'm gonna love it either way. You know what? I rate these remixes a Vegas residency. Nobody's on the strip right now anyway. Nobody can tell me that I can't. Shoot, we could all just move into Caesars if we wanted. Although now that I think about it, I don't know if I'd want to move into Caesars if it's the end of the world. Maybe the Bellagio or the Cosmopolitan. There's going to be a couple of you in the comments I know who's like, Alex, you play Fallout, stay in the Lucky 38. No, <laughs> the Strat was like the first one to close. We're not, no, we're not doing that. We're not staying in the Strat. How are you going to get water up there? Doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry this video is so lame. I really want to go outside. Ugh. Okay, I need to wrap up this video. I think I've been rambling for way too long. Thank you guys. New subscribers, you guys that have been here since the very beginning, Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you want to keep swinging with me, subscribe to this channel or check out the world's first and only Electra Swing novel called Threadbare The Traveling Show. Thank you guys so much for watching, but it's time for me to take it on the heel and toe. I'll see you in the next video. So long. Okay.